Hey there, it's Zach from Engadget, and we are here with a Verizon bag, and inside the Verizon bag, yep, we have a Galaxy Nexus. And so I've actually already unboxed the Nexus once, just to take the phone out, turn it on, make sure that it's working, but we're going to do that again here. Um, so we have this outer sleeve, there's a Verizon branding, very subtle here up top, um, it's just embossed there, and then we have Galaxy Nexus on the bottom. Uh, other than that, it looks like a pretty standard um, Galaxy Nexus packaging, but on the top here we have Verizon 4G LTE certified and uh, some barcodes on the bottom there. So let's pull that sleeve off. Then we have this box. We're going to open that up and here's the phone. And so we have this little plastic cover on the phone as you get on, on any smartphone these days. Um, and I have, as I said, I have already unboxed it and turned it on. Um, it is working. I'm going to set it aside now as we look at some of the other components here. So I haven't been in here yet. Um, we have a little instruction manual, Spanish up top, uh, a headset here, USB cable, and a small, uh, very compact USB to uh, AC power adapter here. And so I'm going to go back over to the phone, turn it on, and we will do a speed test. So we're here in New York City. I uh, just picked up the phone from a Verizon store here. And I have a um, Samsung Galaxy Note connected to a, a 4G LTE MiFi as well, which we'll, we'll do a little bit of comparison testing. But I'm going to open up the speed test app here. And so I, I tested it on the way back to the office from the store. And the results are, are pretty inconsistent, as, as we typically get with, with Verizon LTE. Um, right here, as far as uh, my test went with the Note, we're getting some of the best speeds um, that we've gotten in the city. So this is on par, uh, this is definitely actually a little bit higher than what I was able to get during the walk back. Uh, there was one test that, that actually exceeded um, 10,000, but for the most part it's, it's been on the lower end here. Um, so we have 49.76 down, 94.69 up. And now I'm going to switch over to the Note, and like I mentioned, this is connected to the Verizon MiFi. And so I will I'm going to put in my password, open up the speed test app, and we will do the test. So we are have to check out which Wi-Fi network we're on because the results are not what we were getting a second ago. Uh, we'll go up here, Wi-Fi settings. All right, so we're still connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna run that just once more. So in general, very inconsistent performance on Verizon LTE. Um, nothing new there, but you should be able to get some pretty decent speeds. So we're getting, let's see, four or five. So comparable to, to what we just got with the Galaxy Nexus, definitely. I'm just going to set that down, and we'll do the speed test one more time. Go ahead and restart the test. Restart. All right, so now, now we just saw we went above 10,000 for a moment, and we're settling in right, right where we were with the uh, the Note and the 4G LTE MiFi. So about just over 5,000. So I'm going to set that back down, um, put the Note aside, and I'll give you a little bit of a walk around here. We already we took a, a look at the um, Verizon version of the Galaxy Nexus at the Samsung Experience in New York City a couple of weeks ago. Um, and so the phone that we saw there is you know, identical to, to what we have here, even though we were told that that was not a final production version. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the settings screen and show you um, which version of the OS that we're running here. So we just did a system update, and we have Android version 4.0.2. So it's not 4.1 like we were expecting, but it's also uh, not 4.0.1, which is what we had a couple weeks ago at the Samsung Experience. And so it's a little bit hard to do one-handed, but I'm going to pop off the top here and just show you um, that the micro SIM placement is a little bit further over um, the, from where it is on the HSPA Plus version that we saw. So that's to accommodate the LTE modem here. And uh, other than that, it, it looks like a you know a pretty typical unboxing. We have some basic accessories here. We have the phone, uh, and uh, the Verizon rep that sold us the phone did a little bit of upselling, and we ended up walking out with a couple cases as well. So these are Verizon branded. Um, we have Verizon and Samsung branding here on the box, 
and these have not been unboxed yet, but we have two cases. This one was twenty dollars. This was twenty-five, and then we have some uh, some display protectors as well. So here we have it: the uh, Verizon Wireless Galaxy Nexus.